Today we're speaking with Yoav Terjeman, who is the general manager of the MLM division of the Israeli Aerospace Industries. Yoav, Israel is developing two missile interceptors, Arrow 2 and Arrow 3. Do you think these missile interceptors will be able to defend against Iran? Because it's assumed that they are developing more accurate missiles with longer range and more powerful warheads. Do you think we need a more advanced technology to stop them? The philosophy that we are using in developing our programs is trying to catch and, and to be one or two steps before the enemy can reach an, an operational uh, capabilities. So Arrow 2 was predicting what will be the, the next threats and we have already developed Arrow 2 and in, uh, in the test we see very successful results. Aero 3 is a complementary uh, layer that uh, will enable us in, even in, a, in, a, in the far future uh, threats to be able to defend Israel in a, in a more economical way and a, a, a better uh, or a lower uh, leakage rate, uh, almost uh, to put it very low leakage rate uh, uh, as possible. Many countries in the world are facing the threat of missiles. Has the Aero 2 been exported to other countries? Aero 2 was developed uh, using American and Israeli uh, money. So in order to export it, uh, we need both countries' uh, 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 approvals. Currently, uh, we have some, uh, uh, some activities uh, trying to, to sell it. it. It is still not approved for third country sales. So once it will be, probably uh, there are countries that uh, will look for it and, and ask for that. So Arrow 3 is based on a kinetic system that essentially means metal hits metal, unlike Arrow 2. Why is that? And why did you choose to use the American way? Arrow 2 is an interceptor that is designed to hit targets both in the atmosphere and out of the atmosphere. In order to make it more robust, and we are talking about a design that was started many years ago, we have decided to put also warhead which enable us to make sure that nothing remains from uh, the interception. It is designed to hit actually the target by hitting it, but still the, the proximity fuse uh, give us more robust and even in surprises it, uh, it uh, ensure that the target will be killed. Arrow 3, in order to make it smaller, we had to uh, give, give up uh, weight and we have made it uh, enough accurate with uh, very sophisticated and, and advanced technologies. We make sure that it hits pinpoint the target so it distract it. In such speeds, we do not need any warhead. So Aero 3 make it kinetically uh, uh, make sure that the target is destroyed. When Aero 2 and 3 are deployed, would you say that Israel would be the best protected country against ballistic missiles? I think even today Israel is a very good uh, protected. Uh, the threats are evolving and we always have to be one step forward. Uh, in the future, for sure, Aero 3 will contribute a lot to the defense of Israel. Uh, uh, once a, a, a non-conventional warhead will be introduced to the arena, I hope it will not happen, but if it will happen, we need a near zero leakage rate and that is the main aim of Aero 3. Thank you, Yoav, for joining us. Thank you.